Okay, I uh, appreciate you guys being here. Just another night in the Big 12 uh, against the Hall of Fame coach, uh, a coach that we have tremendous amount of respect for and coming off a big win this past week against a really good TCU team. Uh, we knew that they were going to they're going to be ready to play. We're going to have to come out and and and, uh, and bring our bring our best game tonight in terms of how hard we were going to try to compete and, and have an incredible competitive spirit. Um, this wasn't going to be easy. We knew that. We were going to have to work this game for 40 minutes. Uh, I thought our guys, this was a really good team win, uh, one that showed a lot of grit uh, and determination down the stretch to try to finish this ball game out. Coach, de- defense the biggest key for you guys? You forced 20 turnovers. That was big for us. It really was. Um, you know, I think at the half, we had 10 at the half. So that was one stat that jumped out at us at halftime that we were doing a great job. Only only thing with that was we had nine ourselves, uh, which was causing the problems a little bit for us in terms of not taking care of the basketball. Uh, but uh, um, I thought we did a much better job in the second half. We finished with four turnovers, and we changed the game in that regard. So I, I, did th- I thought our defense, we guys played really hard. So I thought we did a better job tonight finishing possessions. I thought we played really hard and had great effort uh, early in the week against Iowa State. We just didn't finish possessions. Coach, what allowed Marcus Carr to kind of get free there throughout the entirety of the second half? Well, they started the game double teaming Marcus right off the bat. You know, they put their best defender Johnson on him. And, uh, you know, Marcus made a lot of really good simple plays uh, early in the first half where he found other teammates and uh, wasn't really forcing anything. Um, you know, he, although he did have some really good looks in the first half as well, he just they just didn't go down. Um, second half, he just came out. Marcus is all year long has kind of let the game come to him. Uh, he really didn't have to come out and force it. You know, we had some great reads to start to half, and he got a couple of really good looks. And once he sees that basketball, basketball goes through the basket, boy, it, it opens up a lot for him. It really creates a, a whole different different uh, way of carrying himself uh, on that end of the floor. Did you feel you had to match their physicality under the boards and just overall? And, and how do you think you did with that? Well, we knew coming into the ball game, we're going to have to have a physical mindset in this game here. Uh, you know, they got great size, and they've been playing a lot of power basketball over the last week and a half. They've really just kind of been pounding that ball inside, and you know, we knew we were going to have to try to match, match their physicality in the paint uh, and on the glass. Trey Mitchell been rebounding the ball really well. Bell's a, a load to deal with inside as well. So, um, you know, we and they could throw a number of different post guys they could bring at you inside. So, we knew we were going to come in. And, and try to have a lot of grit and try to do some uncomfortable things to try to try to, try to win this game today. We're going to have to have rim protection with block shots. We're going to have to take some charges. I thought we, we stepped up and took some big charges in big moments as well. But uh, you got to do things that were uncomfortable to win this game today. Coach, on that note, you guys got West Virginia's two main big men in foul trouble. How do you think that was able to help you guys? Because you guys had 32 points in the paint out of your 69 points. Well, I thought our big guys played pretty good today. I thought Dylan DeSue was really good around the basket on offense and defense. I thought Kristen Bishop came in and gave us a great lift with his energy and activity. We know what Brock's going to bring to the table uh, in that regards. But uh, being able to neutralize their size inside and not let those guys be factors was a big part of the game. You know, over the last couple of ball games, they've really, when, when the game was on the line, they really tried to pound the ball inside. And, uh, you know, not having that element today I thought was very big for us. Anything else, sir, Coach? Thanks all for your time. Thank you.